What's going on everybody? Jeremiah Auditors of America. Today I am here at the Nashville Fire Department Station 32. We're going to see if they respect our rights to record in public or if they're going to be tyrants. We shall see. We already got a looker. There's communication tower. And as always, broadcasting to you in 4K. They have the, uh, you can charge your electric car if you got one. Nice to know they're paid that much that they can afford electric cars. Looks like a pretty brand new station. And we are in Hermitage. It's a very nice fire department. Very nice. Got their rocking chairs, you can come in here and sit down, relax. This phone is automatically called dispatch. It should only be used in an emergency to make connection. Just pick up and sit and someone will answer. It's a very nice building. And as always guys, we'll observe the American flag. Time and temperature check. It is 11.43 a.m. and it is currently 84 degrees. They are all staring at me inside, so we'll see how this goes. I'll walk around it. They got their grill area. It's a really nice building, guys. I bet it was a really nice price tag, too. They got a huge communication tower. Restricted access. Staff only. Don't say I can't go down this way. That door is restricted access. Really nice building. And guys, y'all say Y'all don't see the sense and why I audit fire departments. Well, it's simple. They're public servants also. And I'm here to see if they respect our constitutional rights to record from public. Or if they will violate them. There are some weird looking air conditioning units. Never seen them built like that.
This is the back side of the fire department. How much you want to bet they lock down the doors when I get around front? Most fire departments will shut the doors and run and hide. And I mean, if you don't have anything to hide, why do you hide? Yeah. This building was a pretty price tag, I can tell you that. I wish I could just steal money from people legally and you couldn't do anything about it and just build me big nice places like this. The Federal Reserve is America's biggest enemy, guys. That is for vehicles not to enter because this is an out only. Guys, that's a really nice building. It's brand new, definitely. Definitely brand new to all of y'all who want to see a fire truck. I like the doors on it. They're not the regular doors that come down. They're doors that fold and shut. That's cool. I like that. We got a guy standing there at the window on the phone. They must have called the police on me, guys. See? That's what I'm talking about. They're firefighters that are public servants, just like cops. But yet, they will freaking call the police in a heartbeat because of somebody simply recording. Now, if I was out here acting suspicious and doing stupid shit, I could understand that. But simply recording the building is not, it is, the Supreme Court's already ruled it. Recording from public areas, it cannot be converted into, you cannot cr take a constitution, constitutional activity and convert it into a crime. And that's what they try to do. Anything for revenue. We got contact. Morning. Morning. I'm good, and you? Doing well, sir. I figured I, I saw you outside. I figured maybe you wanted to get my good side or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm just getting some video of the. It's a pretty new building, right? It is. Uh, it was built last year. Last year? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I think it took about two years to build it. Uh, we moved in in December. Uh, so it's brand new for y'all. Yes, sir. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot better than what we had. It is. Yeah. 
I like it. I, I was talking about the doors on it. Most fire departments, you know, they come down. Yes, them sir. right there fold in. I've never seen that. Well, it was. Uh, I think it was one of those things that they wanted to uh, have something unusual and something unique. Yeah. Uh, as far as the building goes, uh, to have those uh, bifold doors. So they were closed, and they made them a nice, pretty fire engine red. I like that, too, yeah. That's nice. That's why I was saying it matched the fire truck. <laughs> it's really nice. I walked all the way around it, and the uh, sucker's huge. You yeah, know? It's, it's big. Um, hopefully, you know, they built it for, like, maybe 50 years. So if they had, want to add more fire equipment and everything else, yeah, because yeah. right now, you got room to grow. area. You know, it... Uh, Y'all could actually probably go out that way, you know, if you had to extend your base. We, we could. We could. Yeah. Uh, we could have units respond out of the back and then come around out of, out of the other way, but it just depends. That, and it's a lot safer than the fire truck having to stop traffic to back up in here. Yes. They can just circle around well, it. I and, like and that. that. And that is a safety issue, too, because our old station, we always had to back in. Yeah. And of course, you know, traffic, has traffic is, is coming, you know, every which way. A lot of people have a hard time stopping you know so yeah 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 <laughs> it's a safety issue because we have to make sure we put our guys in the street to make sure they don't hit us or the equipment so we yeah. try to do the best we can on that yeah yeah i was actually you. recording the fire department in springfield springfield tennessee really yeah and uh that fire truck was doing that very thing stop traffic backing in and the car mm -hmm. just came around and hit it right in the front end Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm G. Arthur Hayes. I'm Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, Jeremiah. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, man. So it's it's a pretty building of a uh, lot of cool features on it. A lot of safety features. Uh, the biggest thing is now is that we have these air scrubbers uh, up in the, the top of the ceiling. Uh -huh. So for exhaust and you know everything else, it kind of purifies the air. Oh yeah. So we're not breathing in those you know diesel fumes and everything else. That and you come back from a fire. I know your clothes smell mm -hmm. like that fire. So, yes. and that smell you can't get off. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you, you, you can't get off. Uh, it, it gets into your pores and everything else like that. Yep. So, uh, but luckily they gave us a, a decon room to where we can uh, actually clean our gear and clean different things. Uh, we can do it in a decon room, and that way we don't have to track it back into our living quarters. There you go. That's yeah. awesome. I That's like awesome. that. Yeah. I, uh, what, I what are the cords that come down from the ceiling that's plugged into the, like so that fire truck? Those are shorelines. Uh, it keeps uh, like how it's plugged into the fire engine yeah. right here. The shoreline helps keep the batteries up so the batteries don't uh, die. Oh, out. okay. Yeah, and then we have uh, the ambulance. Uh, it has to stay powered up all the time, too, as well. If not, it's got so many electronics like the computer and other stuff and everything else that continually runs for like 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it keeps it uh, from dying running the batteries down. That's cool. I like oh, that. Yeah. I even seen over there on the other side, y'all got an electric car hookup where yes, you can sir. charge uh, your cars. So that's not for us. That's for uh, the public. It's for public use. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, because the uh, the building is environmentally friendly and because, you know, we are, it's a, a green building, yeah. they put their charging station there for the public to use. That's so cool. If, uh, from what I understand, speaking to some other people, if you go to the app, and you get on the app, and it lets you know what charging stations are available. Uh -huh. uh, if you have an electric vehicle, you can come over there and use it. So, oh, wow. Yeah, it's not for us. It's for the public to use. Oh, yeah. I thought it was for y'all. I was just saying, that's <laughs> nice to have out there, no, you know. No, no, it's, it's not for us. It's strictly for, for uh, the public to use. It's not for us. That's awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, and the thing about it is a lot of people in the neighborhood utilize it, you know. Yeah. And it's a safe place to leave your car. It's a safe place to, to charge your uh, charge your car, you know, so, I mean, why not? Yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, it's no no safer place than the fire department, I would assume, you know. Hey, you know. Y'all call me out here pretty quick. Huh? <laughs> I said, y'all see me out here pretty quick, well, you I know. To, uh, you were to answer the phone when somebody oh, yeah. called. Okay. And then I saw you, I was like, hey, you filming the movie. So, let me go out here. <laughs> let me make sure you got my good side. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not that big of a channel. Yeah, I only got 8,000, but. What's that, uh. As far as like a what, YouTube channel, or YouTube, like that? yeah. Oh, well, man, eight thousand—that's a lot of followers. Oh yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a lot, but some channels have hundreds, so you know, hundreds really? of thousand. Yeah. Isn't it like after so many that you can start like having like advertisements and stuff like that? Yeah, you have to have four thousand watch hours. Really? Which yeah, I'm way past that. So yeah, you I can have ads play on my videos and get monetized for it, and right. it's it, it helps out a little bit, you know.
It's not much, but it helps out somewhat. Right, let's move over this way. Cause they're yeah, yeah, I was just hearing you say I heard that. <laughs> I know that sound. <laughs> yeah, we don't, don't, don't want to uh, be in the work when they get ready. Yeah. This might be some good footage for you. Might be. To, uh, Them going the out, yeah. So it's going to be this uh, Tahoe over here is what okay. it's just called for. Okay. And that's what first responders? Is that what that is? Yes, sir. Uh, here in Nashville, we have a first responder program. Uh, you have uh, a fire engine that goes along with the ambulance just for extra manpower, for whatever reason it may happen. Uh, luckily here, since Hermit is, we have such a big area, we have uh, two pieces of equipment. We have uh, a fast car and we also have an engine. So the fast car will go out first. Yeah. And then if there's another car that comes in, the engine will uh, take the, the next How car. many gallons does it hold? 750 gallons. Wow. <laughs> it, 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 I bet that's good. hard to keep I, on the wheels going hey, around corners. Well, I'll take a thousand if they'll give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you can never not have uh, enough water. Yeah. No doubt. That's true. You can that's never true. have enough water, especially out here. Uh, well, the, the hydrants in this area are few and far between, uh -huh. and uh, we'll get out there, you know, toward the county line, and then we'll have a lot of uh, a lot of time by ourselves. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, so I know somebody's coming, but I'll take a thousand gallons. We'd have to make that seven hundred and fifty work as best we can. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hopefully, y'all don't never have to use it all, but you know, I, I, I I'm sure there's been I scenarios. Hope I hope that we don't. You know, we. We always want to try to help people, and we're here, you know, for the community and everything else. Yep. Uh, God forbid anything happens, you know, we just want to make sure we're prepared and have everything we need possible to try to save somebody's property. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. All right, and thank you for coming out and being respectful, because a lot of fire departments, believe it or not, they call the police on me. Call the police on you? Yes, sir. For walking around the building walking recording. around the building? I mean, you know, like this. It's a, it's That's a what I thought you were doing when you were in the window right there. No, I was no, like, he's was, on the phone sitting, calling. No, I was sitting at the table doing some work, and then somebody called the main line. Okay. And then uh, well, that's what we call it, call the phone. And then uh, I saw, I was like, oh, somebody's out here video. And I was like, and I thought you had it on me. And I was like, well, let me let me make sure you get a good shot. You don't get to get that every time when you're here. <laughs> I think it's awesome, though, that y'all do what y'all do, you know. Mm -hmm. I had an apartment burned down, and uh, at that time I lived in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Right. And uh, it was a kitchen fire. I literally put on, uh, I was deep frying french fries, turned it on low, walked to the front door, lit a cigarette, and I'm standing there smoking my cigarette halfway through it. I turned around and the kitchen was, was just going. Yeah. Yeah. And by that time, all I could do was run down the hallway, get my wife and baby and get them out. You right. know, I sh made sure I shut the door as I went out, you know, because I do know oxygen can't, fire can't burn without oxygen. Right. So, you know, right. but fire department made it there pretty quick and everything was ruined by the smoke and water. Yeah, but, that, man, smoke gets into everything. Yeah. You, know, you have water damage and everything else. And we do, we do the best we can, you know, after we put the fire out to try to salvage whatever we can, yeah. you know, people's uh, effects and furniture and everything else. But at the same time, you want to make sure the fire is out. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we do what we can, man. But I'm glad you was able to put it out and save your family and everything. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Main thing was, that's just stuff. We right, can replace right, that. Right, right, You can't replace your family. Exactly. You can't do that. Can't exactly. Do that. So you'd like, you ever thought about uh, applying to be a fireman somewhere? Have I ever thought about it? Yeah. I've thought about it. But never applied? No, no. Never applied. <laughs> you ought to apply one day. You know, I might you do never know. I might do it. Go to, hey, we may be hiring here in the next, uh, I don't know, a year or so. Go to Nashville.gov, put in the app. Nashville.gov? Yes, sir. All right, I mean, I'll do the application process. Dude, I think it'd be a fun job, you know. You know get to help job. people. Well, you know, man, it's, it's one of those things where there's never been a morning that I don't wake up and says I don't feel like going to work. Yeah. You know, you get a chance. And I believe in, in doing the right thing. God puts us in a position to where this is uh, what he has deemed for our lives. Yep. And if you're good at it and if you like helping people, man, then this is the place to be. Yep. There you go. No doubt. That's Did you get awesome. a good shot of the engine? Yeah, yeah. I walked up right to the door and okay. got it, yeah. All right. I was standing right there at the cones because that way I didn't want to be in the way in case y'all got a call, you yeah. know. Well, trust me, the... Uh, the uh, dispatch system uh, lets you know when it gets uh, 
Yeah, that. You're coming out. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I've learned that whenever I hear that sound, get the heck out of the way, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Got to get out. Like I said, it's a, a, a wonderful building. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. I'm glad y'all got it, you know. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's, it's environmentally friendly. You know, it keeps our, our cancer rates down, you know, because we're not breathing in all the uh, carcinogens, you know, from diesel fuel, exhaust, and stuff like yeah. that. Because I imagine, like ideas. you said, the AM lamps, when it's in there, it runs all the time, right? Well, no, it doesn't run all the time, but uh, it does put out diesel fuel fumes, uh, just like the engine does. Yeah. But we shut them down on that, and like I said, that's why we have those shorelines, so we can keep everything plugged in so it's not running. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's good to have. It is good to have. I bet your old department didn't have none of that, did it? They had shorelines, but they did not have the air scrubbers. Yeah. Uh, like we used to have. I guess that's the main thing right that there, the you know, thing. keep y'all healthy. Yeah. Can't do your job if you're not, you know. You know, you can't do it if you're not healthy. Exactly. You're right. But, she's a beauty. Yeah, she is. They have a... Is that y'all's communication tower? No, sir. That is a radio tower. That, is, that has nothing to do with us. Oh, okay. Uh, I was going to say, that's a big one for a fire department. No, uh-uh, no. That's, uh, that belongs to somebody that i don't know anything i either at&t or oh okay or somebody else they come up there they do maintenance on i see them every now and then so it's a cell phone tower pretty much no they no? said that the guy told me it's a radio tower it doesn't do cell phones he said it does radio frequency i maybe it I boosts the maybe it cops does. or something i don't know i have no idea man that's way but that's way <laughs> pay grade i don't know i was just curious i happen to be in the park a lot and the guy or was working on it, doing maintenance in it, and he's like, no, nah, that's a radio tower. Because I thought it was cell phone, too. Yeah. But evidently, the cell phone towers, they have, like, these different little rectangular plates on it. Yeah, like yeah. 5G towers. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah, 5G has its bad parts, but, like, my phone's 5G, mm -hmm. so when I do live, mm -hmm. the picture's perfect, man. You would never know I wasn't, you know, stat it's no difference in static recording than live, right. pretty much. Right. And when I had 4G going live, it was like all hard to see the picture and everything. That's why I never went live or anything back then. You know. Right. Okay. Well, Jeremiah, I guess I'll let, leave you to your, uh, your photography. All right, and man. I appreciate thing. you coming out and talking to me and Ain't being no professional. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go back. I got some work to do. It's always paperwork involved. Yep. And everything else. Um. You got any other questions? Uh, no, that's it. You good. answered them. I'm good. Thank right. you, sir. Good. You have a good one. Be safe. All right, guys. There you have that. Saw him on the phone. Figured he was calling the police on us. And nope. Come to find out, he was being nice and professional, but yet also watching his building and... You know, I understand them coming out and being curious of what I'm doing. But at least he was nice and respectful. They didn't call the police on me. So, Nashville Fire Department Station 32 gets an A-plus pass in my book.